Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and I want to do a very quick video on something else yet again I couldn't find anywhere online. Nowhere. One video, only one video actually mentioned this, and it blew my mind and kind of fixed the problem I was having with my airbrush. So, I'm new to airbrushing. When I say I'm new, I mean I've only had my airbrush for like five to six months. Um, and I've been noticing over the last little while, it whatever I would pull on the trigger here, the slide, which is this part right here, would stick. So I'll show you, it would come back and then it would stick right, it would, put it in there, it would come back and it would stick. And it would not come forward, it would just, it would just completely stick. So originally I was like, okay, it's probably my fault, it's probably something wrong with this spring. Nope, not the spring. I took this thing apart, cleaned it meticulously every single time I used it. Couldn't figure it out. I was watching all the different videos for any airbrush. The one I have, every different types of make and models out there. Pistol, the little button there that you push and then pull back. I was doing everything everyone said. Take it apart, give it a cleaning, throw in your ultrasonic, blah 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 blah. I did everything I was told to do. And then I watched one video it talks about specifically this trium from six years ago. Or, uh, not this trium, but an airbrush kind of like this with a trigger. And it did, the person did something in the video that blew my mind. They used lube. I then started looking into things and realized that you need to lube your airbrush. Nowhere has anyone told me in any video I watched online that you need to lube your airbrush. Specifically on this one, I need to lube it here, because this little part here is sitting here, and it will push down and let air up into the chamber and etc. Well this, if you look at it, it's a little dangled, is actually what pushes it down or lets it go. Wow. It's a friction fit, but no one told me it needed to be greased. So I have been taking this thing apart meticulously multiple times, and it turns out I needed to grease up my airbrush. No one said anything, no one told me that. So specifically on my Grex, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yep, so there's a spot right there where this little plunger here will go up and down to release, you know, air pressure and all that stuff. That needs to be greased. And right here needs to be greased as well because it's a pressure fit. Um, you also, in this case, uh, for this guy, also got to do, uh, let's see if I can get it. This right here, because you see there's a bit of a groove. That is the part that slides forward that actually will change how far forward or how far back you can pull the trigger. So, yeah, there you go. Um, look at your manual. Your your airbrush needs to be greased. I didn't know that. I learned it. It's new to me. Um, I hope this video was quick and succinct. Look at your owner's manual. You need to grease the thing after you give it a deep clean. Um, and don't give it a deep clean like I do after every single use. I would rip this thing apart, clean everything, put it to the things that I thought that had paint on them uh, in my ultrasonic and then clean the living daylights out of it for like a couple days, and there you go. You don't need to do that. You can just, you know, run really hot water through it a few times, etc., etc. Use your, your classic, you know, cleaning chemicals and all that stuff, and do it that way, because that's the proper way. The way I did it was way too in-depth. Um, you should only be taking it apart once every X amount of hours you're used to spray. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what a good hours usage on like x hours or x times spraying and then you can take it apart or whatever but yeah so there you go um i hope this fixes a lot of people that have like a sticking slide there issue with possibly their air i don't know um but yeah so there you go lube your airbrush that way things slide nicely thanks for watching see you next time i really appreciate appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye